Davening take away the Kutti Torah, Daf 4. On this Daf, uh, we find that the Rebbe is making reference to two aspects of Mesir Snefesh in the Kriyashma. The first one is the Mesir Snefesh of Echad, as in the first Pasuk, Shema Yisrael, Shem El Keno, Shem Echad. And the second aspect of Mesir Snefesh is that of Bechol Nafshecho, as in the next Pasuk, Be'ahavta Eis Hashem Elokecha Bechol Levavcho Uvchol Nafshecho Uvchol Menedecho. And explains that the, the first line is a level of Mesir Snefesh related to the unity, the first two letters of Hashem's name, Yudke, and that's related to the mitzvahs losase, the prohibitions, which again is not doing anything. And so it re represents uh, a, a lack or a hiddenness, which is considered the higher worlds. It's also uh, this hiddenness is, is uh, you know, related to the, the, the level of makif, of, of a level that we can't perceive so much. It's so high, or can't perceive really at all because it's so high. And then we have that contrasted with the Mesir Snefesh of Bechol Nafshecha, which is related to the unity of the last two letters of Hashem's name, Vav and He, Vav K. And that is one of a revealed state. It's related to the positive mitzvahs of doing something, of something that we're involved with. It's related to um, the aspect of Mimali calling, means something that we can perceive. And so we, we see that, uh, and we see that also that it's, it's related to the fact that it's, uh, we love Hashem b'chol nafshecha, even if, in the Perushim say that you know, even if we her soul is taken away from us, that kind of serious nefesh. But it's more of a a bit of uh, of a yesh in a sense because we have um, the aspect of love and the hafta. It says there is someone who loves to make that love. And so there is a something there. So we, we see that that's, a, as it were, a lower level of this mysterious nefesh, but both play a part in the Kriyashma that is, you know, we do, and, and it uh, can be said to be related to some of the uh, previous davening takeaways where the, the whole effort of elevating the sparks, et cetera, uh, is accomplished through the mysterious nefesh that we have in Shema. And these two are different levels of that Mesiris Nefesh. Interestingly, uh, as we said, that there's a, a unity between the first two letters of Hashem and Yud K, which is related to that higher level. There's a unity of the Vav K. Uh, we say before Borch Shemar a statement that says, L'shem Yichud Kushi Burichu Rishchinte, L'yachud Hashem Yud K, Bevav K, Yichud Shalim, Hashem Kol Yisrael. So uh, one might be able to say that. The davening we do, ultimately, the entire entirety of the davening is not only an aspect of unifying the two letters of Hashem's name together and the other two, but may it also unifying all those two packets to make an entire unity of Hashem himself. So the Yud Kei Vav Kei is totally one, and the davening can possibly accomplish even that, as it seems to suggest before the Baruch Shemar.